Hello and welcome to Chimbo's Gaming, I am Scorp and today I'm going to show you how to undo a dual boot on your Steam Deck. Now, I've been dual booting my Steam Deck since basically day one, even before the Windows drivers were available for the Steam Deck, I already had Windows on just for testing. And that's all Windows has ever been for me, is testing, I've never played any games really in Windows and everything that I want to play works in SteamOS. So it's come to the point now where it's just really annoying me that I've got so many partitions on my hard drive. So my Steam Deck has a one terabyte hard drive in and the way I split this up originally was I gave about 200 gigabytes to my home drive for my SteamOS, I gave 550 for a shared drive and then the rest went to Windows and it, I want it all back basically, I want to use it all for games, I don't want split steam os and windows anymore i just want to get rid of it you know what i don't know why i'm trying to make excuses for it i just want steam os i'm very happy with just using steam os like i say i never play any games in windows it was only ever there just for testing and just to prove that i could so i'm going to get rid of it and i'm going to show you how to do that successfully i hope so first thing oh yes first thing make sure you have a keyboard and mouse it will make your life a lot lot easier uh, if you don't, you can still do this, but I won't show you how to use the on-screen keyboard. I've shown it before. Work it out or don't. I don't care. So, <laughs> switch to desktop. So, I've now switched to desktop. And the easiest way to do this, I would say, is probably come to KDE Partition Manager. We could also do this in the terminal. But I think most people watching this will probably want to just do it in the GUI. So, come into KDE Partition Manager. If you ask you for a password, put your sudo password in. If you don't know your sudo password, then I think I've got a video telling you how to reset that. So go and have a look. And this is my hard drive. And like I say, these are all my Steam OS, the file system. Uh, this is my home drive. And the rest, that is a shared drive. And these two are my Windows drives. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get rid of these three. I know I've got some games on here already, but I'm willing to sacrifice those and re-download them. And... Uh, I want my home partition to be as big as possible, basically. So a quick disclaimer from the future. Make sure you're deleting the right partitions. That is on you if you delete the wrong thing. You put the jewel bolt on, so you should know which partitions are which. Don't just blindly follow me, because my partitions are probably different than yours. The end. So, first we need to unmount these things. So let's unmount that partition. If they're not mounted, then you don't need to do these, but uh, my... Extra partitions always get mounted automatically, so I'm going to mount those. And what we then need to do is just right click and you want to delete. So delete this, it should say unknown, and delete this one as well. Again, it should then keep growing in size, and then delete this one. Delete, delete, delete. Where's the delete button gone? Delete. So that's all gone. So that you should see an unknown, unallocated, and unknown partition which has all your leftover file size. Um, we're not going to expand this one just yet. That should, let's just have a quick look actually. Let's open uh, console. I forgot what it was called then. Console, 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 console. So let's just open console. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So what should happen? Uh, let's uh, have a look in our uh, fstab table, fstab. Uh, in fstab, our home partition has this set which is X system D grow FS. So in theory, what should happen when we restart the home drive should grow into this empty space. Once we've applied this, actually, we need to apply, click apply uh, to uh, reclaim the space from Windows. This will all just be uh, gone in a second. Let's just uh, apply that. So that's now all gone. It's all gone. Uh, Oh, you, 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 why didn't you go? It should be gone. Unmount, it remounted itself. You, go away, unmount. And delete, delete that thing. Delete, go away, delete, and apply. There, okay. Didn't work the first time, strangely, but it has now. Let's just do a refresh to make sure. Okay, good. So our home partition is still only 200 gigabytes, and now we've got a lot of empty space of 750 gigabytes-ish, or gibibytes, whichever. And I will show you the other problem we have as well, because uh, if we restart now, uh, we will still try and boot into Windows. But uh, I'll, you know what, I'll show you. I'll show you doing that. So I'm gonna just shut down and then restart. 
So depending on how you've got your Steam Deck set up, if you've not been using my script uh, for dual booting and defaulting into SteamOS, you will be probably greeted by this screen because we need to delete the Windows boot record. So I'll show you how to do that. So if you're stuck on this screen now, basically just restart your deck and you'll need to boot up by holding down the volume down button and the power button and then come to SteamOS and start back in SteamOS. Hello again from the future. So I tried to do this a couple of ways first and none of them worked. And basically the reason was, is we need to get onto our ESP drive to delete the boot record, but it is mounted via root and I am not root and our sudo user doesn't have permissions to CD into ESP. If that sounds all technical and stupid, it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat and we're gonna type in sudo bash, which is gonna mean we're gonna run a bash terminal as the root users, which will give us access. Hopefully that makes sense. So at this point, type in sudo bash, log in with your sudo password, and it should say you are now root at Steam Deck. And from here, so cd space slash esp slash efi, and in there, there will be a folder called Microsoft. So to get rid of that, all we need to do is type in rm space das r space Microsoft and then enter. And that will delete the Microsoft folder. And if we click reboot, then everything will be fine. Bye again from the future. So booting up took a little longer than usual and there was a black screen. Do not turn off your deck. For me, that took maybe three minutes. I might have to check and uh, write that down on the screen so I wasn't watching. But it did take longer than usual, but let's have a look and see if the file system has automatically grown. Go to settings and we go to storage. And yeah, there you go. I didn't need to do anything to resize the partition. It just did it itself. You just got to wait and let the deck sort itself out and it will grow. And that's it basically. So thanks for watching and enjoy your now Windows free Steam Deck again. Catch you next time.